All right, I think it's time. I think it's time for me to tell you my shop story. And well, kind of house story too, but mainly, mainly my shop story. So I've always had this kind of philosophy in my life, and that is run as fast as you can at the things that scare you. So if you're afraid of it, run at it, go do it. Go conquer that fear. Then you can just move on to the next thing. I think that in those fears that you conquer, you grow every time. You learn something every time. And you figure out that fear is just in here. The fear is not real. It's just in your brain. So I like to run at those things that scare the crap out of me. So one of those things I've been challenging myself to do is grow. I just want to grow, not necessarily just this channel. Obviously, that's one of the things that I want to grow, but everything. I want to grow kill fab. I want to grow my skills. I want to grow the size projects that I do or the, the difficulty of project that I do. I want to grow that. I want to move on to the next level. I want to learn. I want to experiment. I want to conquer any fears that I might have along the way and then just move on to the next thing. Take that learning lesson and move on. The faster that I can do that, the faster that I feel like I can get where I want to go. One of those things was a shop. So if you kind of follow the channel, or been following the channel for the last year, almost a year to the day, ironically, October of last year, I, uh, I started hunting for a shop. Actually, I started hunting maybe a little bit before October, but I signed the lease in October last year. It was 6,000 square foot shop just for myself. And the crazy thing is, is I don't have any customers. Like I don't do custom work here on the channel. I just build my own stuff. So to have that big of a shop to be able to do the things that just I want to do is kind of out there. But I felt like it may be one of those fears that I needed to conquer. You know, taking on another responsibility as far as a shop and having to fix it and having to make sure I'm there all the time to film and to have events. So anyway, so long story short, I did that. And if you were watching back then, it didn't, it didn't work out for me, as a lot of things do in life for everybody. Not everything works out the way that you want it to. This particular deal, the guy that owned the place, the building itself was a perfect location. I love the location. Um, I really like the character in the building itself. But it wasn't really ready to be rented. It, didn't, it wasn't ready for a tenant. The roof leaked. It had all kinds of issues. I feel like I could get a better deal because of that. I didn't feel like that you'd get some normal retail space in there because it just wasn't retail ready. But for what I was wanting to do, I felt like it was perfect. All I really needed was it not to leak. I just needed it to be dry in there. And I need to be able to lock the doors and that sort of stuff. Long story short, they couldn't get the roof to quit leaking. Uh, the owner was really difficult to deal with. He's not, he wasn't a very, very understanding guy. He felt like his was, stuff was gold and everybody else's sucked. And that I should be thankful that I had a building that was only leaking in half of it or something. I don't know what the hell his deal was. Anyways, as much as I love that building, I felt like the best thing for me to do was to remove myself from that situation. I've got this kind of thing where I like to, I like to try to look for the positive in everything. So when things don't go my way or they, they look like it's a bad situation, I always try to think about the fact that maybe there's a better scenario waiting for me there's something else out there for me the lord has another plan for me and being comfortable in that helps me move on and not even look back just look into the future there's something better else out there for me there's a different plan there's something always better it always turns out better no matter how bad it feels at the time it always turns out better and well what I'm about to show you is a prime example of that. Basically a year ago today, I started looking for something else. Kind of wanted a commercial space. Me and my wife were also maybe considering building our own home. And um, you know, she felt like it'd be better for me to be at home. I really wanted to be at home too. It makes so much more sense for me to just be able to walk out of my new house into a shop be able to do work and then go right back home or, or run up to the house if, if somebody needs me or if I need to do something or whatever. It just made more sense. So that's what I did. A couple months ago, we started building a house. 
and then yeah I built this thing and this this is a way better scenario than the scenario I had So, the details, the details are, this thing is 48 wide, 80 feet deep. It's got a 10 by 10 right here in the middle. Got a 10 by 10 door on the back side. And then on either side over here, we got an eight by eight on this side, eight by eight on that side. And yeah, I think it's like uh, 3,800 square feet in here. Probably four times the size of the little shop that I'm currently working out of, or that I've been currently working out of on the channel for the last, I don't know, three, four, five years. Got a lot to do in here. So the building's up, concrete's down. Still have a ton of work to do though. So you probably won't see any videos of me building the bib store or working on the goose in here for a while. You may see some videos though of me doing some stuff in here. I really wanna show you guys the process of making this my dream space and so every little thing that i build for this or everything i change hang on the wall everything i do i'm gonna make a video you guys will see it got big plans in here so one of the things i got to do obviously is electrical first gonna start working on that pretty soon um i want to figure out insulation probably do like a spray foam in the ceiling maybe uh, some kind of fiber in the walls i think what i want to do too is i want to wrap the entire sides with like a rustic um rough cut lumber i kind of want to have that old school character in here that old school barn feel nice floors no lift right now although we did pour some thicker concrete right over here for a lift if i ever want to put it in i just don't as crazy as it sounds i just don't have a big desire for a lift i don't know call me call me crazy Maybe at some point I will. And so for that reason, 
I did uh, pour some extra concrete right here. What else? Yeah, maybe, maybe a walk-in gun safe, maybe a big office space with uh, some kind of conference table over here. Uh, I want to start doing podcasts. It'd be a great space to do podcasts. And I really want kind of like a hangout space, maybe up here in the front, maybe some AstroTurf, some pink flamingos, I don't know, some character. I'm gonna put some stuff on display. Gonna have the mini chopper on display in here. Um, yeah, just try to make it as cool as I freaking can, you know? I think over here we're gonna have a packing area. So like this whole corner over here will be just a packing table, full pack area. Um, start packing kill fab orders out of here. Start gonna start doing, start making some extra products for you guys, um, brackets and tabs, and you guys are fabricating these little projects and maybe need some of that little stuff. Hope to be your source for that. We're gonna call this thing, we're gonna call it Kill Fab, Kill Fab Farms, Kill Fab Farms. We're breeding horses, but the kind that eat corn. There's also some things about this building that I don't really care for. Um, I don't really like these double slats. Some of it will go away because, like for instance, right here I might have shelving that comes across over to here. And so then that, those two slats will kind of disappear, right? But for some of these, I may actually come in here with like a four by four steel post, put one big steel post with a big foot on the bottom and kind of take the place of these two smaller posts. Uh, I can also kind of stage my equipment around some of these. So, you know, you can have basically like a bead roller straddling right between these two posts or an English wheel or, yeah, whatever. So I'll make it, I'll make it happen. I'll figure it out. Thought about maybe doing the, the office space with the gun safe. Maybe do it themed, make it look like a camper trailer in here or something. I don't know. It's going to be a fun ride. It's going to be a fun ride and I'm going to show it all to you guys. Every little build, modification, every little purchase. I was looking at some Jack Daniels whiskey barrels today. I was like, man, I'm going to be sweet in the shop. Buy a couple of those. But anyway, any kind of thing like I, I buy like that, I'm going to bring it to you guys. So one other thing I've been working on is the grading. So I've been doing a lot of grading out front here with the tractor, um, out front on both sides. This used to be about two or three feet higher right there. And I kind of took in all that dirt and moved it back around the back side of this shop and kind of worked on this a little bit. You can see a lot of the dirt that we've brought out here too. Probably flatten out a lot of this, make it a much flatter. I hope to at some point put a lot of concrete out here you know, I don't know, have a place to do donuts, big burnouts, maybe have a little launch pad. I don't know. I guess it depends on what I'm into. So that's the back side. Got a little bit cleared out back here on the back side. Just got one 10, 10 by 10 foot door on the back. And really my thing is with this is not necessarily to be able to pull cars in and out of, although I do have enough space. I was kind of thinking more along the lines of like a Razor or you know some kind of sport utility vehicle that I've got or I will have, kind of get it in and out of the back side of this thing. And I really wanted to do a gun range. Yeah, down off this hill over here. So, I don't know, maybe we'll see, see about that making that happen. It's not really a priority right at this second, but definitely something I'd like to do. Now the outside of the building's not 100% done, there's still a lot to go. So there's like trim that's supposed to go up in this little section there that kind of matches this. It's supposed to be all white. There'll be trim up here, trim up there. There was a problem with the trim that they sent. It wasn't quite made perfectly right, so they're going to uh, send basically another batch of that and get it all installed. Once I get all that done, a lot of these spaces in here where you see light shining through, a lot of that will, will disappear. See over here on the sides and up top, those will both disappear, that trim will fill in all that section. And then because I'm planning to go with spray foam insulation, as long as I can afford it, which I know it's gonna be super high, but I'm gonna try to make that happen. That spray foam will fill all those little crevices and cracks and seal this place up pretty good. 
All right, so let's talk about the building a little bit. Why did I go with this kind of building versus, say, a free span? Well, main thing is budget. So this kind of building is usually for that size. This building is probably maybe thirty or forty thousand dollars cheaper than a freestand building. That's just for the building alone. And then if you go with a freestand building, say like a like wrought iron style or I beam style construction, then you have to have engineer concrete. The concrete itself has to have engineer footers and be made specially just for that kind of building. Makes the concrete cost another ten or fifteen, twenty thousand dollars more than what I paid. So that's the reason I went with that kind of building. Saved me fifty thousand dollars. Give you a little sneak peek on the house. It is coming together. I showed you guys some videos of this thing a while back. I don't know if you can see inside, but everything's sheetrock, all the insulation's in, all the electrical's done, all the plumbing's done. I'm getting ready to start just doing the, the cool stuff, you know what I'm saying? The other thing that's really nice about that kind of building is that it only took them four days to put up. So I think they got out here on Sunday, Sunday evening, about four or five o'clock, and it is Wednesday evening and they packed up and left this morning about lunch so i mean they can fly those things can go up pretty fast um they are certified everything's engineered for the codes right here in south carolina the uh snow load code uh snow load codes certified for that and it's certified for like 145 145 mile an hour winds i believe so they're very strong as well posted a bunch of pictures and videos on Instagram. I've had a ton of questions about where I got it, um, some questions about how much it cost me and that sort of thing. And this is what I suggest to you. I got this building from a company called Carport One. Basically what they do is they work with all the manufacturers of those style buildings and they can shop around based on what it is you're looking for. They can shop around for the best price for you. They're kind of a middle person. Um, I'm sure they get a cut from the manufacturer themselves and in my opinion it's the best way to go because they can kind of shop for what it is that you want for the right price you can go to carportone.com i believe i'll put a link in the description where you can go check them out you can go talk to joel you can give them a call talk to joel they'll quote whatever you want you want a 30 by 30 they'll quote it you want a 10 by 10 they'll quote it you want a barn style they'll quote it you don't want a barn style they'll quote it you want something like i got whatever go check them out if you're thinking about build, doing a building and you want to kind of see what you'd have in a building of the size you want that's like that, call them up, get them to quote it for you, tell them, uh, tell them Kyle from the Fab Forum sent you, and um, go show them some love. I mean, that's what they do. That's their job. They're going to help you out. They're going to give you an idea of what it is that you'd be looking for in a shop price-wise. All right, guys, so that's my my shop story stay tuned as this thing starts going together like i said no probably not gonna be any work out of this thing for a little while but may make some videos of some work in it anyway as always thank you for joining me i'm gonna hop on the tractor try to get a little work done i'll see you guys some more this week go do work son